Good morning, class. This is your teacher, Miss Judy M. C. Patasio. How are you today? Welcome to Be in Health Subject, Second Semester, Week 7. Our learning objectives for today's lesson are At the end of the lesson, the students will be able to First, determine the nature and background of the game football and second, know how to perform the basic skills in football. The lesson that we are going to tackle this morning is about sports event for a target health issue or concern, football. Team sports are football. A sport is an activity that requires physical action and skills where individuals or teams compete under a set of rules. Sports are classified as individual, dual, or team sport and some of them can be played indoors or outdoors or both. Some individual sports are classes, army, chess, or any event that involves one player. Dual sports may be players to compete, and some of these are badminton, tennis, and table tennis. Team sports include basketball, volleyball, baseball, football, or any sport which are played in teams of two. It is important to learn the basic skills in order to execute the game properly. Now, let's proceed to the nature and background of football. Football is a team sport played with a spherical ball between two teams of 11 players. The game is played in a rectangular field called a pitch with a goal at each end. The objective of the game is to score by moving the ball beyond the goal into the opponent's goal. The team which scores most wins the game. The game of football requires various skills and techniques in order to execute the game properly. In a regular game, players try to push the ball using the dribbling and passing to a teammate and kick the ball towards the opposing goal wherein the goalkeeper is waiting to protect his goal post. Then, the opposing players will try to intercept as much as they could to prevent an attempt to make a shoot. The duration of the football game is 90 minutes long with two halves or 45 minutes each half. Each team consists of 11 players on the field. These are 10 outfielders and a goalkeeper. In addition, the general position in football are forward, midfielder, defender, and the goalkeeper. Each position covers a specific field area. Forwards, midfielders, and defenders are positions either at left, right, or at the center of the field. Then, 
Of course, the goalkeeper is assigned to protect their goal post. History of Association of Football Basically, soccer or football started during 2nd and 3rd centuries before Christ and China. Soccer was played first during Han Dynasty, where people dribbled the leather ball into a small net. Romans and Greek has also recorded facts that they played ball for, for fun. And even people from Kyoto in Japan enjoyed to kick around the ball. While modern soccer started in England where in the facts, first ball used was the head of some Danish brigand. During the game, punching, kicking, biting, and even gouging were allowed to do. That's why King Edward III banned the soccer game in 1365 because of too much violence, and in 1424, King James I of Scotland announced the na man play at the field ball, means no man shall play football. Soccer became more popular in 1815 and made powerful impact in universities, colleges, and schools. The popular English school in Eton College created a set of rules and regulation known as the Cambridge Rules. The history of modern day soccer came in October 1863. There are 11 representatives from London's club to set up the common and fundamental rules. The sport then finally established in 1869 that banned all forms of handling the ball, even biting, tripping, shin kicking, and other harmful actions were officially banned. Today, countries like Germany, Australia, Italy, Brazil, Argentina, South America, and many more found love in playing soccer. In 1904, FIFA was formed and by early 1930s, various soccer leagues started and credits to FIFA, the first World Cup were organized in Uruguay. Now, let's move on to the facilities and equipment and football. First, we have the field or the pitch. Field or, or a pitch can be made of natural and artificial surface. The color of artificial surface must be green, must be rectangular and marked with lines. The dimension is maximum of 120 meter length and 90 meter width. Second, we have the ball. A ball is a spherical, made of leather or other suitable material, of a circumference of not more than 70 cm or 28 inches, not less than 68 cm or 27 inches, not more than 450 grams or 16 pounds, and not less than 410 grams or 14 pounds. Next, we have the goal post and crossbar. A goal post and crossbar must be made of wood, metal, or other approved material. Must be square, rectangular, round, or elliptical in shape and, not, and must not be dangerous to players. The distance between the posts is 7.32 meters or 8 yards and the distance from the lower edge of the crossbar to the ground is 2.44 meter or 8 feet.
flag post. If flag post is not less than 1.5 meter or 5 feet, 5 feet high, non-pointed top must be placed at its corner. Next, we have the basic skills and football. First, we have dribbling. Dribbling is maneuver maneuvering a ball by one player while moving in a given direction, avoiding the opposing players to be intercepted. A good dribbling skill can create opportunities to score. Next, we have passing. Passing is a key part in football. The purpose of passing is to keep possession of the ball by maneuvering it on the ground between different players with the objective of advancing it up the playing field. Receiving. Receiving is the individual act of obtaining the ball from a pass or interception, getting it under control, and then setting it up in a proper position for performance of the next skill. Juggling Juggling is the act of keeping the ball up in the air using any part of your body except for your hands or arms. Next, we have shooting. Shooting is the most common way for goals to be scored. It is done using the feet or head. Heading is the second most common way in which goals are scored. Now, let's proceed on organizing a football event. Organization is the structural planning of roles to implement necessary functions. It comprises key persons involved during the planned event. One of these are the officiating officials who handle the games. Management is a key factor to success in any physical and sports education programs. This includes collaboration and leadership while administering the event. Parts of the plans are programs, safety, resources, promotion, and legal. To be able to have the best team in football, you need to have a good leader, quality officiating, a well-planned game, and safety. We have the qualities of a good leader. First, he or she should have a healthy and fit, awareness of work, integrity, intellectual capacity, good human relation, administrative mind, and ready to take a responsibility. Now, let's proceed to the types of tournaments. First, we have the Elimination Tournament. Elimination Tournament is for a short run of matches. This is suitable for time-constrained events. But we have Single Elimination. Single Elimination is when a player or team loses they get eliminated and the winning or player or team continues to play to the next round until there is only one player or team left. Double elimination is similar to single elimination, except that the players or team gets eliminated after losing twice. We have a round robin tournament. Robin tournament is the most commonly used type of tournament and one of the most competitive tournaments. Since players or team play to get a chance to play more, this tournament is ideally used for a team competition 
playing not more than 8 games. Round Robin is a format where each team plays a number of games depending on how many teams are participating. We also have a Lombard Round Robin. Lombard Round Robin is a round robin type of tournament used for a limited allotted period. If full games are not, if full games are not possible, mini games are played. All, score, all scores for or against points are recorded to determine the winning team with the best ratio. Next, we have the Challenge Tournament. Challenge Tournament has levels where winners go up and losers go down from their respective positions. Winning is important to climb to the top position. This tournament needs enough time to give chance to the teams and players bottom position to reach the top. Ladder tournament suits single player competitions like tennis or badminton games where players challenge each other on a one on one match. We also have a pyramid tournament. Pyramid tournament is almost similar to the ladder tournament, except that it has more players at the lower level when the tournament starts. Then, as the level of game progresses, the number of players decreases. Spider Web Tournament Spider Web Tournament is a bracketing design taken from the shape of a spider's web. The top position is the center, where players reach it through the lines drawn from the center. The players who get the center wins the championship. So that's all for a lesson this morning. I hope you enjoy and you have learned a lot. Thank you for listening. For your activity and for your quiz, just follow the GIITF link on your screen. Once again, good morning and have a nice day.